Hey Pisces, getting ready to do your reading. Oops. All right, got two coins falling out in my lap, but I'm gonna shuffle. Oh, that has nothing to do with you. Don't worry. All right, let's shuffle these out here for you. All right, Pisces. All right, we're ready. Okay, seven of wands, seven of swords. And the page of swords. Okay, I'm going to pull one more card before you guys. Oh my goodness. Look at all these sevens, you guys. Hmm. All right, Pisces. So, looks like, looks like something. Yeah, it looks like you guys are going to be marching to your own beat, your own path, the seven of uh, these sevens, um, there's some, definitely some arguments going on around you, some bad behavior going on around you. You're trying to decide what to do. Um, looks like either there's some delays or some information that came in for you guys that you didn't like. Let me um, pull one card from this. It says children. Your love life is being affected by children. Now the first thing that came to mind is that the other person is acting like a child. Because in, in the regular, um, in the Rider weight deck, this is the Seven of Wands where he's standing on the hill fighting off the other wands and he's on uneven footing and he's just kind of standing up for himself. In this deck, that's why they have him walking alone. He's standing up for himself, taking his own path, going on his own journey. I almost feel like this card should kind of go here. Because I feel like you're walking away from some of this energy of this person. Um, it could be, though, that you want to walk away, but there's some behavior going on. And like I said, your love life is being affected by your children. Either you're, you're staying in it because of the kids, or there's someone around you who is not paying. You know, child support for the kids. Um, they sent you some type of information, and now you're, you have, you're not sure what to do. You have all these ideas. Um... For others of you, this person is just acting very childish, and um, you're always feeling that you have to defend yourself, and um, whatever it is, you're having to, you know, make new choices, decide what you need to do, which, you know, what path to do. It could be that they told you something, too. Either maybe they want to, they, it could be they want to walk their own path, Um they want to leave or they did something. You found something out. Now you're deciding what to do about this situation. Um, and you could have children together, like I mentioned. So now you're not sure to stay, to go, to try to fix this situation. Or if you should, um, you know, stay for the kids or leave or whatever it is. I'm going to pull... Um, let me see. I don't know. This is kind of kind of a, a harder reading for you guys, I feel. I'm going to pull one card from the angel. Uh, let's, let's do this from your angel's deck for this reading. There's a little bit of advice I can give you guys. What do we, what the angels give you? Okay, what is the message for this reading? Okay, have faith and hope because there is something positive um, and new on the horizon that you can't see yet. All right, so there's a message right there of hope. That's whatever whatever the situation is for you for you guys. Have faith and hope. Hang in there. All right, there is something better, someone better, someone who's not going to act this way, act so childish, and you know you're not going to have to defend yourself. But you, I feel that you are going to walk your own path. And um, move forward to something better and get away from this situation. Whoever this person is who's not treating you well, you deserve better. So hang in there because there is something better. It's on the horizon that you can't quite see yet. So hang in there, you guys. Have a great week, and I hope to talk to you soon.